Man must rise above the earth to the top of the atmosphere and beyond, for only then will he fully understand the world in which he lives. Those words are attributed to the ancient Greek philosopher Socrates. Today, they apply to nothing more perfectly than the Hubble Space Telescope. Telescopes have long been an indispensable instrument for probing the universe, but even the most advanced ground-based telescopes are limited by the Earth's atmosphere. From down here, clouds and light pollution significantly hinder quality stargazing. So in 1923, a German scientist, Hermann Oberth, had a suggestion, send a telescope into space. It would take some time for the idea to catch on. But in 1946, American astrophysicist Lyman Spitzer backed Oberth up with a landmark paper arguing that a telescope in orbit would uncover new phenomena not yet imagined. Spitzer spent decades lobbying to make the space telescope a reality. A breakthrough came in the 60s when NASA began to study the feasibility of a large space telescope in earnest. In 1975, the estimated cost was $400 to $500 million. The House Appropriations Subcommittee denied NASA the financing. That was a big roadblock for the project. But thanks to a more modest price tag and some help from the European Space Agency, Congress eventually approved the funding for the first major optical telescope to be placed in space. The telescope was named after pioneering astronomer Edwin Hubble, and after years of development, it was slated to launch in 1983. But construction delays pushed liftoff to 1986. That same year, disaster struck the space program as the Challenger space shuttle exploded shortly after liftoff. The tragedy put the space shuttle program on hold and set the Hubble project back once again. On April 24, 1990, nearly seven decades after its inception, the Space Shuttle Discovery lifted off with the bus-sized Hubble in its bay. The next day, Hubble was sent off into orbit and images were being back to Earth. Unfortunately, Hubble's troubles didn't end there. Almost immediately, there was a problem. The long-awaited pictures were blurry because of a problem with a primary mirror. To fix the issue, in 1993, the crew of the Space Shuttle Endeavour repaired the optics during five spacewalks, unfolding 350 miles above Earth. Shortly after, Hubble started sending back the stunning images astronomers had long been hoping for. Since then, Hubble has been proving Oberth, Spitzer, and Socrates right. Among its achievements, Hubble has helped astronomers determine a precise age for the universe of about 13.75 billion years. It has also allowed us to see distant galaxies, investigate dark matter, and provide a closer look at alien worlds. Eventually, Hubble will stop working. A successor has been set for launch in 2018. But until it reaches retirement, Hubble will continue to be the eyes looking out to our cosmic community and beyond. Hey NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.